Which power armor is the toughest? This question asks if any power armor in fiction could take a hit from the Spartan laser, and I'm taking that to mean which can take the most damage. Now, first off, I'm not considering every power armor, both because, I mean, there are a lot, and because the sci-fi author in me prefers talking about armor that is knowable to us, more or less. That means that the Shrike's Time armor from Hyperion is out of here, and Samus's alien-based armor? Awesome, but no. Anyway, which is toughest? We haven't seen the Goliath armor from the Expanse put through all of its paces, however it does protect against most small arms, only worrying about armor-piercing ammo. The Starcraft Ghost armor is relatively similar. A step up would be the Halo Meow Meow armor. It's made of a titanium alloy with some fancy other things. While in just the metal armor itself, a wearer doesn't worry about any penetration whatsoever until the 50 caliber AP rounds that the Warthog fires. The energy shield on top of that can stop the equivalent of 6 to 9 rounds of 762 NATO. Now a step up from there, kind of, is the Space Marine armor from Warhammer 40k. While its weakest points can be exploited by 762 NATO, and even wooden spears wielded by regular humans in some lore, uh, the thickest points, their armor, their chest, shoulders, back, they can take 35mm autocannon rounds. Those aren't quite rounds that tanks fire, but if they hit just the right spot on some tanks, they can drop them. But that's not the toughest armor. Before I get to that, let me remind you how powerful the Spartan laser is. It can stop a tank, but only if it hits one of those weaker points. Based on my assessment, that comes out to being able to penetrate about 440 millimeters or 17 inches of steel. Space Marine armor at its thickest is equivalent to about 15 inches of steel. So while the splazer can't go in one side and out the other, it can still go inside and turn the inside into salsa. But there is armor that can withstand that. It comes from the Battletech and Mech Warrior universe, but isn't a mech. It's the elemental armor of the clans piloted by the eugenic super soldiers called Elementals. These suits work together in small teams to bring down much larger mechs, and they have mech-sized weapons, so I mean they're probably also the best armed power armor as well. And they have the armor to withstand hits from other mech-sized weapons. But just how protective is that? Since the Splazer can take down a 66 metric ton tank, can it hold up? Well, we need to break down some weapons it can withstand. Battletech weapons are a little bit weird classification-wise. There's the Autocannon 5, which deals 5 damage and has solid range. Given their large universe and numerous manufacturers, this isn't one gun model. Auto, Auto Cannon 5 is a classification given to any gun that can output that amount of damage at those ranges in one firing volley or session. This means that an Auto Cannon 5 could range from being an accurate 10 round burst of 25mm guns that all hit close together to a single shot from a 203mm gun, and also anything in between those, so it's difficult to quantify. However, I think that since the 105 caliber the Abrams tank fires falls in there, and that's capable of defeating 440mm just like the Spartan laser, and it would take two hits from an AC-5 to drop an elemental. I think that the armor on an elemental is equivalent to above 440 millimeters, so could likely withstand one hit from a Spartan laser. However, two hits would drop it, and one flaw that elementals have is they're really slow, so they would be easy to hit. Anyway, what do you think is the toughest power armor? And if you want a more in-depth breakdown of how tough the Space Marine armor is, I got a video right here covering that. And I'm also going to post a random video right down here that you, you should look at because I want it to get views.